The rig's mast is a strong tower that supports the equipment attached to the traveling block and hook. Crew members sometimes use the words mast and derrick interchangeably. In reality, a mast stands independently on the rig floor and is raised as a single piece unit. In the old days, rig owners used a lot of derricks. A standard derrick, as it's called, is usually bolted together. It has four legs, beams, and girts or cross braces. Unlike the mast, the derrick cannot be lowered or raised as a single unit. Today, masts are much more common than derricks. Manufacturers usually weld and pin the mast together for easier assembly and disassembly. A self-erecting mast may be a cantilever type, a folding type, or a telescoping type. A mast or derrick is tall, normally having a clear height from 100 to 160 feet, 30 to 50 meters. They are also strong. They are able to support static weights ranging from 275,000 pounds to three and a quarter million pounds, or 125,000 to one and a half million kilograms. A rig's mast must be tall enough to allow crew members to set back drill pipe, tubing, and other tubulars they pull out of the hole during a trip out. It also has to be tall enough to allow the driller to raise the traveling block above the height of the derrickman's monkey board. With the traveling block high in the mast and the elevator at the derrickman's position on the monkey board, the derrickman sets back drill string elements or stands. Most rigs pull three joint stands of drill pipe and drill collars. A three joint stand is three made up joints of drill pipe or collars. Small rigs may pull two or even one joint stands. In rare cases, a really large rig may pull four joint stands. Regardless of the number of joints, pulling pipe in stands instead of a single joint at a time speeds up the tripping process. The working platform at the top of the derrick or mast that permits access to the crown block is called the walk-around. It is also called the water table. The monkey board is the derrick man's working platform when crew members pull pipe or run it back into the hole. The derrick man sets stands of pipe back into a fingerboard, a platform with projections that holds the top of the pipe in place as it stands in the mast. A stabbing board is similar to the monkey board. It is a small platform in the mast or derrick, about 30 to 40 feet, or 9 to 12 meters, above the rig floor. A drilling crew member, usually the derrick man, works on the platform when running casing or tubing. The derrickman guides the top of the casing or tubing from the stabbing board. The crew member called the stabber adjusts the stabbing board's height with a hydraulic, electric, or air-powered motor. The height varies depending on the length of the casing or tubing being made up and run into the hole. The substructure is a rugged set of beams. It supports the master derrick and the heavy hoisting and rotating equipment. It also supports the drilling tubulars on the rig floor. It must be high enough to accommodate the blowout preventer stack underneath the rig floor. Crew members hoist pipe and equipment from the catwalk up to the rig floor by raising it up the pipe ramp. They hoist it onto the rig floor through the V-door.